I am on my way to the Botanic Gardens in Chicago. This is the little drive through that you come through uh, to get a park. It is only $20 um, per car, and I think you pay $5 to park. That is it. Uh, very nice garden. I will give you my update as I walk through the gardens, uh, but for now, I'm gonna find this park. All right, update you in a few, my family. on the inside of the Botanic Garden, Chicago Botanic Gardens. This is the entrance. This is how I look. Very pretty from the outside. I don't want to get everybody in my shot. So, this is the outside, the decoration. They are having a night of a thousand jack-o'-lanterns October the 13th to the 17th and October the 20th through the 24th. Look how gorgeous this is. Sorry, my hand is in y'all way, sorry. But look how gorgeous that is, isn't that gorgeous? Now we're gonna head on the inside. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> when you're walking on the inside, you have on your mask and then um, when you uh, come out of the inside, it, out of, from the inside, then you can take off your mask on the outside, as long as you're not too close to people. So that is the only thing, only way you have to wear a mask. But this is a very gorgeous day. It's a little breezy, a little cool. Um, but other than that, it's, it's very pretty. Let's walk down here, look at this garden. Look how pretty it is out here. Um, people love to take pictures out here. Um, I think this is the difference between the um, one that was in Dallas. Uh, when you first walk through, you see gorgeous, gorgeous sights. Uh, there in Dallas, you have to take, you have to absolutely um, be careful and find things. So, yeah. But this right here, they are very gorgeous. Uh, I am sure they're getting ready to die out, the, the plants are. Um, I am hurt today because there is a shooting water fountain that's out there. They don't have it on today. And I am pretty sure you are gonna hear the wind blowing in the mic. Um, but I hope you all can understand me. You know, I cannot control the wind. But look how gorgeous that is. Look how pretty this is. Um, but yes, it's a little cool out today. Very much cool. Um, yeah. But it's still a nice day. The sun is shining very bright, so that makes it a little bit better. Um, here's another little gorgeous thing right here. Uh, it's a little water fountain here. Can you see it? Yes, it is gorgeous. That right there. And then it goes down this way. Uh, family come on down here with me see they got they, they say a thousand jack-o'-lanterns they did not lie look look at the jack-o'-lanterns a thousand jack-o'-lanterns they say and then they get, at night time they got little lights in it so you can see them lit up at night see it has a little light in his mouth I don't know if you can see it, neighbor. A family? Yeah, there's a little light that's there. Let's walk on down this way. I'm gonna show you some other really gorgeous sights. Look, neighbor, uh, at the kale, the Swiss chard, the parsley. Yes, 
very gorgeous. Look at that. Very, very gorgeous. That right there is like the fruit art orchard with apples and pears and peaches and all kind of yum yums out there. Um, this is Swiss chard. It is turning now. It's not as pretty as it used to be because it is getting really cold here at night. We, ha we are having really cold nights. Uh, but look at the, how gorgeous this is. Look at that. Look at that family. Look at that. That is a few names of what's here. Um, this is some type of cabbage. I do know that. Yes, neighbor. This is the Chicago Botanic Garden, as I was saying. Um, you can absolutely make a family trip out of this right here. It's COVID time. Your kids is um, on edge about doing something. You don't know what to do with your kids. Here's an idea. You bring them down to the Botanic Gardens. You pay $20 per car. It doesn't matter how many people that's in that car, as long as it's legal. You don't have 10 people in a Pathfinder, then, it, you know, you're not legal. So, no, we're not going to do that one. But however many people your car can fit legally, you can bring down to the Botanic Gardens. And this is the great venue um, where there are grapes. It's usually, in the, and when it's not, you know, you know, they're dying off right now, but when it's... Um, not dying off then they are really full um and grapes are hanging down from them uh but right now uh you know it's dying off for the season but as i was saying uh you legally fill up your car with your kids your family you come down and you just walk through the gardens and you see pretty things you educate your kids about different things about the different fruits and vegetables and uh plants uh, that's here they have little write-ups that you can read. You know, you got that child that's just starting off to read and you're, it's, it's exciting to read what are, things about these plants and stuff. Yes, family. So this is, not, this is an idea what you can do. It's only $20 per car, $5 to park. So you pay in $5 for outside experience and education because you're educating. Look at this very gorgeous here are all kind of vegetables if you see they have vegetables planted all down this way um, Italian kale all kind of different types of kale that they have let me get this one all different types of kale that they have planted um, so it's all down this way all over this way I am showing you this for a reason um, like I said like, um, I was saying that um, I liked the Chicago garden better than Dallas and simply because I think I know this garden so well um, I have been plenty here plenty of times so we're walking over this way you see this little building that's in front of me uh, this is um, the Garden Chef series. So what it is, is that uh, people sit here on the, on the benches here and they watch the chef cook in here. Whatever vegetable they decide to pull or pick that day, um, that is what they prepare. And it's at a certain time of day that you get to try uh, what they're cooking and they do give you the recipe and what they're doing here are some gardening tools some things that you would need to garden yes neighbor look at this so as I was saying Dallas you have to kind of find things here everything is just right there and I know this garden so well and so I can show you everything, all the pretty little sites that they have. Uh, where Dallas, I had to find the stuff. 
uh, and it was really warm and I really didn't look how big this is what is this this is broccoli I grew broccoli in my garden um, this year I did not get one single thing because I was looking for a, a big head a big bunch of broccoli and it never got a really big head and then it began to seed no, I thought it wasn't any good, so I pulled them up. Yeah. But look at this neighbor. Look how gorgeous this is. Um, there's a beehive here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to get too close. I don't want to get stuck. And yes, I am sniffing because it's a little chilly out. And when it's a little chilly, yeah, my nose started to run. I don't know about yours, but mine does. And the bees probably not really active because it's a little cool out. They probably in their little hive. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is what I was saying. Get out and move. A moving body is a working body. You only have one body to take care of. Take care of that body by just getting out, walking around, looking at nature. And when you do this, it's better than walking on a treadmill because you're not in one spot looking at the same, same old, that wall or whatever. Get out and walk in nature. And if you're not a big walker, they have places like this where you can just take a break, sit down, and you still see pretty things. If it's warm outside, you got a shaded area. So yes, this is absolutely doable. This garden is pretty. I love it. I did not give Dallas a fair review because Dallas was really warm outside and I did not feel like walking. Uh, the whole garden in Dallas but this one when it's really warm outside it is still very doable um, because when it's when it's warm here you always get some type of breeze it's not as humid as it was in Dallas here 80 degrees here uh, is a very doable day 80 degrees in Dallas wasn't doable for me uh, so yeah, things are dying now because it's that time of the year where things die when it get really, really cold out and things begin to die. So yes, good morning. See, these are dying right here because it's really cold nights. It is uh, very near freezing here at night and then it warm up during the day. So yes, I will green things die around this time of the year you are I just got a couple of men on this wig right here check out check out miss curly crew cute check her out the lady said your hair is beautiful and I said thank you girl it didn't take long it didn't take much to do this to slap her on that was all I did but she said your hair is beautiful yes it is yes it is I paid for her I did Check, but get into her. She is pretty, isn't she? Yeah. Outfit of the day. Let me get in the sunlight. Because y'all know that sun kiss. Y'all know when we dark skinned like we are. That sun kiss is, 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 is what. Let's, let's get this view. Try to get that sun kiss. And the sun is all in my eyes. Oh, there she go right there. Look at that. Let's go up a little bit. Yeah. Get into her. Get into Miss Curly Q. She is gorgeous, isn't she? All right, let's go over here, neighbor. Oh, I'm trying to flip you off. Right here. Look at this. 
look at this. Who wouldn't want to walk down this way and see this? Who wouldn't want to go to the Botanic Gardens? If you've never been to one, your opportunity. You know I'm going to link the description down below. I'm going to give you a link down below. Uh, what you will have to do is most definitely, if you are not a member, if you are not a member of the Botanic Gardens, then yes, you will have to pre-register a time. Uh, you have a time to make it here, but you can um, stay as long as you would like. There's no time limit on how long you can stay, but there is a time limit on, oh, and here's the water fountains right here. You know, I said we didn't have many water fountains. They turn hours off when it get cold. That's what goes on. Okay, now it's a, there's a better understanding. But yes, uh, you have to pre-register uh, if you are not a member. Uh, just uh, fill in a time slot for you to come, but you can stay as long as you would like. Um, and see this beautiful garden. Over here, what we are walking up to now is a place where they hold weddings. Um, if you want a wedding or even your reception, whatever you want out here, you know, uh, they would do it. They would decorate this little area right here that we're coming up to. Uh, you see they got it all uh, plastic around it, like a little plastic tent. But yes, I would absolutely, if I were just getting married, I would absolutely do this. Look at this gorgeous site right here. Um, they put tables in. You see the lights at the top right here. Those are lit up. Uh, when you're here, um, look at this right here. Look at this. This is the most gorgeous wedding picture. I mean, imagine your arch right here and you're standing here and your back is to this lake right here. This little body of water. Don't know if it's called a lake, whatever it is, but you are to this body of water. And I don't know if you can see way out there in the distance, but way out there, right there, there's a little structure that is a bell. Uh, I don't know what the hours are, but they do ring that bell um, at a certain time of the day. I think it's all throughout the day, maybe every two or three hours. I don't know, but that bell do ring. Uh, I hope it rings while I am here. I will absolutely turn on my camera so you can hear it. But just imagine, you're here, sun is going down, you got your wedding, the wedding party is here. Yes, that's what I would do, absolutely, if I was just getting married. But sorry, I've been married for 23 years. Not sorry. I, I love being married. I really, really do. Um, my husband is a sweetheart. So yes, this is the, walking back toward the inside of the little tent. This is what you see. I'm sure they have those little plants right there all throughout the um, little tent here and decorating. But yeah, you could fit a good number of people in here and have a very gorgeous wedding. This is new to me, not this right here. I have seen this before, uh, but they're selling apples over this way but let's let's check this out let's check out the the trees look at that look at that this is what i'm talking about how do you design that look at that estimate age 55 to 65 years a ball of cypress wow Look at this. Look at the age on this one. There are some people that don't live this long. And then you got this. Oh, 
How magnificent. How magnificent. Look at this. This one has little flowers on it. Estimated 90 to 100 years. This one is unique. It got little red berries on it. And they just go on and on. Different ones. I am curious. How old is this one? Oh, they say 75 to 80. You think the bigger the tree is, the longer they've been living, but I guess not. 75 to 80. And then you have this one over here. Why does it say rosemary? This is what I was saying is different. I had never seen this right here before. They are selling apples over here. I am gonna go on the inside. It's a little warm in here. Look at this. Look at this, family. Look at this. American black walnut. Acorn. That's a persimmon. We used to uh, find those in the wild in Mississippi. And it just goes on and on and on. Look at this. And the bad thing about it, you guys, I left my wallet in the car. I can't even buy anything. Wolf River? What is this? That is huge. Is that an apple? All these different types of apples. Yeah, they go under. Yeah, they go under. Yeah, they go they're selling daffodils. I think daffodils come in bulbs. So very gorgeous, very gorgeous. All right, we're ready. Okay, um, after right after World War II in England, they became aware that there were a number of varieties of plants and of food plants and of livestock that were becoming extinct. And they sent groups out to search the countryside looking for these certain things. And they had always heard that there was a, an apple called knobbed russet, very ugly and awful looking, as you can see, but good to eat and they searched everywhere and they finally found what I have heard was the last tree 
left in England, and it's we've been propagating from it ever since. Uh, and you said, what about the scan on there? I'm sorry? The scan that's on there? The which skin is, is, gets kind of corky and thick. You can eat it. It's got almost a little nutty flavor sometimes. Um, and the inside is kind of a little on the sweet side. It's, it's quite good to eat. And it's a conversation piece, but it's a good apple anyway. Thank you. Look how gorgeous these are. Let me get my shadow out of the way. And look how gorgeous those are. Very gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Um, someone is very creative. Look at the pumpkins. There are pumpkins all over the garden. Uh, well, jack o -lanterns. Same thing. I think it's the same thing. <laughs> I don't know about you. But yeah, here are the jack o -lanterns. Very cute. All down this way are jack o -lanterns. Uh, Look at this right here. This is what I'm saying, that someone is very creative. Um, when you can sit down and you can carve a face figure that looks like real life out of a pumpkin, I think that you are very talented. I can't do this to save my life, any of you. Look at the features on this one right here. I mean, look at the eyes, the nose, the lips, the wrinkles, the everything. Very much so. It's some kind of preservative. I don't know what they have in it. But it's some kind of liquid that's inside of that to keep it preserved from uh, rotten. Oh, wow. She said if you stand a certain way, you can see two faces. I'm not going to uh, go back because, you know, I'm still aware of COVID. It's still out there. Still lurking. I'm not trying to find it. I don't want it to find me either. So, let's see what else we can find for you family um this is the rose garden i do know that the roses are not as pretty as they was uh the roses was very gorgeous um but now they're dying out we only see a few of them that's gorgeous but yeah are you a rose person these are very very nice very nice roses they smell wonderful if we had smellophone yeah i will send you the rose smell but yeah here's a water fountain another water fountain that they used to have on just a week ago that was was on so that is what happens they they turn off hours we have them but um like i say in uh winter yeah they get turned off because they don't want things to freeze and burst look at this Absolutely gorgeous. Look up, look up high. Oh, they're taking a picture. I don't want to get into their picture. Yeah. Well, look at this. This is part of their uh, thousand jack o' lantern show. Uh, if you can see the cover says there. There's a pumpkin underneath there. I am sure it's very gorgeous. But because they have it covered up, we don't let it stay covered. But yeah. So then we got this table right here. A display. Oh, that's this Instagram right there. Look at this. There are buildings here that has different types of cacti in it, uh, but due to COVID, you're not allowed to go inside of buildings. Um, so yeah, but this is what you get. I think this is enough. I think Missy is lost, let's see. Let's see, can she find mommy? Oh, she found it, she found it. I was like, oh, goodness, oh, goodness, baby was lost. And I know that's a scary feeling when you lose someone. So 
I was gonna help out, but I was gonna have it on video because I didn't want nobody to think I was kidnapping my baby. Because I don't want none. I'm good. Family, I dreamed the other night that I had a baby. My youngest is 23 years old, and I dreamed that I had a baby. Can you believe that? And my baby hair was changing, like the wigs that I wear. Whew, I don't know if they're telling me something. I need to stop wearing them or what. I don't know. But family, that was the wildest dream ever. And then my husband get up the next day and say, um, I dreamed that we had a baby. I am like, good Lord, what are you telling us? You know we don't need any kids. We're done. We living a good life right now. We living the life of freedom. Yes, we are living a life of freedom. That's a little place right there where you eat at. Right there. You can go over there to the cafeteria and you can eat. There are fish in this water. I have sat and looked at fish that was here. I don't see any now through the water, but there are fish. Look at this family. I forget, I went to, I, I was on the tram ride a few times and I forget what they call these trees and I forget why they are, they are shaped the way they are. They are not grown that way. Um, they shape them this way. And this is Goose Island, I wanna say that it is. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 I think it represents Japan, the trees they have in Japan. And uh, there is a reason why they shape these trees the way they are shaped. Very gorgeous, very gorgeous sight. Look at that. Yes, very gorgeous neighbor. My family. <laughs> my family of fishing wives and husbands. I was told that that is a pine tree. Um, that tree that was oddly shaped. It is a pine tree. And here are some that's coming up very close. I'm walking across the bridge, excuse me. We have people that are taking family photos or whatever they want to do. Uh, so I just read a book. The garden is telling you which way to walk. It's a garden path one way. So you can only walk one way on this path. But now that we can see the tree up close, yes, it is definitely a pine tree. And you know pine trees are not normally shaped this way. They shape the tree this way. So. I don't know why, didn't figure that one out. But the lady said, she said, when you're walking through here, um, all the stress of life just disappears. And I agree, because it's peaceful. Your mind does not go to the problems that you had uh, of yesterday, uh, because you're gonna make tomorrow a better day. Uh, it goes more toward um, how beautiful the sight you're seeing right now. So why are you in the moment? Everything just disappears. The stress of life, your problems, because you're more focused on the beauty that God has put before you. And if you can soak that in on a daily basis, how great would that be? If you just soak in life, there'll be few killings. There'll be people who love each other more Yes, if you could just soak in the beauty of life and you can respect the beauty of life. This is life. You know, it's old cliche. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm gonna rejoice and be glad in it. It's also a song, but it's also so true. It's also so real. Look at this. Look at that family. See, when you say the life of a fisherman's wife and you are a fisherman's wife or a fisherman's 
husband or someone that likes to fish, then you can respect nature because you do respect nature. If you're a fisherman, you respect nature. You know the value of nature. You know that you don't um, throw away or mistreat the resources that you have. Just look. Look at that tree. I don't know who shaped it, but they did a really nice job. But you can tell that it's, it's, it's pine cones. Those are pine needles. Okay. We're gonna go back across the bridge. I think we're going back across the bridge. Garden goes one way. So let's go the way that the garden's supposed to go. Always abide by the rules. Don't buy yourself uh, doing something that's against the rules. Because it's not fair to others. There's a reason why they have things going the way they do and respect why they have it going the way it is. You may find yourself in a lot of danger if you go against the rules. Look at this. This is a little path that you can walk through. I never knew that was here. And I can't tell you how many times I have gone through this garden. I have been here if a gazillion is a number, I have been through, been at this garden a gazillion times and never knew this little path was here. Look. You are encased into little shrubs. I don't know if anybody ever pay attention to this little path and come through. It sounds like I hear somebody on the other side over there. So maybe, maybe I'm the only one to ignore her. The little things. I was walking past and I kind of noticed this sign right here. I said if there is an uh, exit there is an entrance. So an entry. So yeah. Pay attention to your surroundings and know things. Don't always have your head up in the air and just walk. Pay attention to the little lit, little details. What I was saying it's a plants in this garden plants that thrive in the Midwest climates are placed and pruned in a Japanese manner many plants that are native to Japan are not able to thrive our harsh winters and summers so this garden contains Japanese plants and other plants from around the world that are hardy for the Midwest region so yes you know we kill stuff because it gets so cold here. Look at the geese. I don't know if you can see the geese. I know you can hear them. There they are. They're coming above me. Don't pull on me, please. Because you know they will. <laughs> but that is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at them. Oh, did I get him? There he is. Oh, yeah. This is your girl, Linda with the life of a fisherman wife that's at the Botanic Gardens, looking at beautiful plants and beautiful sights. Why don't you come along? By subscribing, commenting, let me know what you like and what you don't like, and hitting that notification bell. So when I come knocking, you can let me in. And like I always say, make your tomorrow better than your today. See you later.